Motion to come to order. I now recognize Ranking Member Nunes, the Minority Council, for 45 minutes of questions. Thank the gentleman. For those of you watching at home, uh, that was not a bathroom break. That was actually a chance for the Democrats to go out and hold a press conference. Uh, ambassador for all the supposed bombshells that was that were in your opening testimony. Pain was a basic quid pro quo. Uh, it was the conditioning of official acts for something of great value to the president. These political investigations, it goes right to the heart of the issue of bribery, uh, as well as other potential uh, high crimes or misdemeanors. But we also have heard for the first time that knowledge of this scheme was pervasive. The Secretary of State was aware of it, uh, the Acting Chief of Staff Mulvaney was aware of it, and of course at the very top, Donald Trump, through his personal lawyer and others, was implementing it. Uh, and so this, I think, only goes to underscore just how significant the President's obstruction of this investigation has been. Um, we now can see the veneer has been torn away just why Secretary Pompeo and President Donald Trump do not want any of these documents provided to Congress because apparently they show, as Ambassador Sondland has testified, that the knowledge of this scheme to condition official acts, a White House meeting and $400 million in security assistance to an ally at war with Russia, was conditioned on political favors the President wanted for... I want to get back to the facts of the matter here. And the thing that the Democrats have been unwilling to accept is that their operatives got campaign dirt from Ukrainians in the, t in the 2016 election. Now, they know it. They know it's true because we have financial records that show it. So they were, the Democrats were heavily involved working with Ukrainians to dirty up the Trump campaign in 2016. So, Ambassador, I want to go through just a few of the incidents that we know. Uh, I know you may not know all about them. You may know about them now. Uh, but I want to walk through some of those examples of why the president may be very upset with Ukraine and think that, that they're a country that's out to get him, as I think both you've said that and Ambassador Volker have said that from that May 23rd meeting. The first... The uh, question I have is, were you aware of the anti-Trump efforts by DNC operative Alexandra Chalupa? I'm not aware of it. So in 2000, uh, there was a 2017 uh, article that also quotes a Ukrainian parliamentarian, Artemenko, saying, quote, it was clear that they were supporting, meaning Ukraine, supporting Hillary Clinton's candidacy, and they did everything from organizing meetings with the Clinton team to publicly supporting her to criticizing Trump. I think that they simply didn't meet with the Trump campaign because they thought Hillary would win. Do you know that Ukrainian official by any chance that I don't. stated that? Were you aware that then Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. chalet wrote an op-ed in The Hill during the 2016 presidential campaign criticizing then-candidate Trump. Not aware. But you know that now after in the last few months. Correct. So probably one of the more disturbing ones is the Ukraine internal affairs minister, Avakov, mocked and disparaged then-candidate Trump on Facebook and Twitter. Were you aware that Sergei Lyshenko, a Ukrainian parliamentarian, admitted that part of his motivation in spreading the information about the so-called Black Ledger, a disputed document purporting to reveal corruption by a former Trump campaign official, was to undermine the Trump candidacy? I wasn't aware. So you may be familiar the Black Ledger was used in the 2016 election to dirty up a campaign associate, uh, and later Mueller didn't use that as evidence in his report on election meddling. So knowing all these facts from high-ranking Ukrainian officials, Ambassador, probably makes a little more sense now as to why the president may think that there's problems with Ukraine and that Ukraine was out to, out to get him. Is that correct? 
I understand your I understand your point. Yes, Chairman. Because you said uh, you said in your deposition, and I'm just going to make sure this was your. Just read it back to you. 